Greetings, brothers and sisters. This morning, we are looking at the Beatitude. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall be shown mercy. The Bible is filled with sad tales of murder and uh, terrible deeds done from one person to another. At the beginning, in, at the beginning of Genesis, the first book in the Bible, we read this about Lamech, who was an ancestor of Cain, who murdered his brother Abel in a fit of jealousy. Lamech says, I have killed a young man for wounding me, a young man for injuring me. If Cain is avenged seven times, then Lamech is avenged 70 times seven, 490 times, an unlimited amount of times really. This isn't a case of justice, but vengeance and hatred. It's a sad tale of how corrupt we human beings are. If someone pokes us in the eye, we want to poke out too of that person who has injured us, their eyes. That seems to be the way of things, a disproportionate response to what other human beings have done to us. In Amos, we read this sad tale. For three sins of Edom, even for four, I will not turn back my wrath, because he pursued his brother with the sword, stifling all compassion, because his anger raged continually and his fury flamed unchecked. Briefly, the background to that story is that Israel had been attacked by the great power of the day, Babylon. And Edom just went across the border and basically did all they could to injure Israel even more. And for that, they would be punished. These stories of vengeance and hatred and unkindness that we find in the Bible is the background to this beatitude, blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. So today we're looking at a Christian disposition towards others who are struggling with the effects of sin in this world, people that need our help. And to understand mercy, I want to look at two pictures, two parables, the parable of the Good Samaritan, and also the parable of the unmerciful servant. These are just going to be paraphrased uh, parables. I can't read them in their totality. So on his journey, in the parable of the Good Samaritan, a man comes across a man lying and beaten on the side of the road. Others had walked past, priests, a Levite, but a Samaritan, a hated Samaritan, as it turns out, because Samaritans weren't popular with Jews, he stops at the side of the road and he offers aid to this man, pays for his stay in an inn, and then says to the innkeeper, if there's any more expense, I will pay that back. It's a wonderful story of what it is to be a neighbour, to show mercy to others in need around us. As Christian people, were warned that we should show compassion to others. We read this. Suppose a brother or sister is without clothes and daily food. If one of you say, says to him, go, I wish you well, keep, keep warm and well fed, but does nothing about his physical needs, what good is it? Mercy is to show sympathy, kindness, to give help to those whom God has placed on our pathway. My little definition is mercy equals pity plus action. It's not just pity, it needs action to go along with it. Well, that is what it is to be merciful. But to help us understand it a little more, I want to look at the next parable, the parable of the unmerciful servant. 
In that particular parable, a man owes his master a lot of money. And he pleads on the master's grace. He says, forgive me and I will pay back everything. Just give me some time. And the master relents and he forgives the servant. He shows the servant mercy. But then we read that this now freed servant, the one that had received mercy, shows no compassion, no mercy to someone that owed him a trivial amount of money. Many of us know that particular story. And it really shows that the first servant didn't understand what mercy was because it didn't affect his life. As Christian people, we have to realise, or we should realise, that we have received unbelievable mercy. We have received unbelievable grace from God. And our response must be to show others mercy, grace and kindness, to be, to be practical in that too. To go out of our way, to some extent, to support and encourage other people. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall receive mercy. Now, of course, it's a bit, it can be confusing the way the beatitude is structured. It looks like we'll only get mercy if, mercy for ourselves if we demonstrate mercy, but we don't believe in works righteousness. Rather, I think we should understand this, someone that has been so affected by the grace of God will demonstrate mercy that is a kingdom characteristic so may god give us grace to show practical aid and support to others who need it allow me to pray heavenly father each day there are people around us in need and we pray lord that part of who we are as christian people would be to display grace kindness compassion mercy to others and lord when we think about that we see and if we act on that we know that your holy spirit is active and alive in our own lives because we have received this amazing grace from you that you and your grace have washed away all our sins have granted us forgiveness have included us in your family and we pray lord that our actions now would demonstrate that we understand, we appreciate the mercy and grace we have received. And we know one day, Lord, when we stand before you in heaven, that you too would act in a merciful way for us, towards us, and that we would be fully welcomed into your family forever. Lord, give us eyes to see those in need. And may we act with compassion towards them. This is our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen.